guys, so this problem is number 61 from chapter 4 from the section on source transformations. So we have a circuit here. We have an independent 100, 100 volt independent voltage source here from minus to plus in, in series with 20K, 80K, 1K, 3K. And that those are all connected in parallel with a 12 milliamp independent current source. And that's parallel connected to 60K, which is parallel connected to... 15K and 10K. And we're looking for I, I naught, which goes through this branch here, the 5K and the 10K. So we're looking for that um, in part A. So the problem says find the current in the 10, uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor in the circuit by making a succession of appropriate source transformations. So the tool we have to use here to find that is source transformation. In part B, it says now work backwards. Using the result obtained in A, work back through the circuit to find the power developed by the 100 volt independent voltage source. So um, the strategy is going to be, well, they told us what strategy to use, so we have to use source transformation, and we keep working through doing source transformations after source transformation until we find that current, until we come down to a single voltage or a single current. Um, and then in part B, uh, they already told us what to do again, so basically we're going to use laws of voltage, current division, um, not current division, but um, our understanding of voltages and currents, what's parallel connected to infer what, um, what, what voltages are, and then using KCL and KVL to work backwards to find the current through here. And then we're going to say, well, current times voltage is power, and that's going to be how we do part B. All right, let's get started. So source transformation says that if you have a current source of voltage in parallel with a resistor, then that is going to be the same thing as a some current of value V over R in parallel with your resistor and vice versa. So if you have an independent voltage source in parallel with a resistor, it is exactly identical to a voltage in series with um, a resistor. And they go back and forth. And that's what source transformation says. So let's start doing source transformation where we see it. And um, the first one, we're going to start from here, from the left, and go right. So the first thing that we have is um, we have this 100, um, this 100 volt, so that's going to be, that's in series with 20K. So source transformation tells us that that is exactly identical to, and notice we went from minus to plus, minus to plus, so the direction of the voltage rise is down. So that tells me that this is going to be the same thing as 100 volts over 20K in parallel with 20K. So that's going to be 5 milliamps. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw. We're going to restore the circuit, so I'm going to leave the circuit there. But I'm going to redraw this as 5, redraw that as the same thing as 5 milliamps in parallel with 20K. So now we got 3K here, and we got, oops, we got 80K. So the next thing we have is we have 20K in parallel with 80K, and then the rest of the circuit, which we're not going to draw, because right now we can do something. So we got 20K in parallel with 80K, so that, that equivalent resistance, 20K in parallel with 80K, is going to be 1 over 20 plus 1 over 80K, the inverse of that. Some people prefer to do 80 times 20 over 80 plus 20, but I prefer the universal way that works for everything and not just for two parallel connected. It's just a matter of preference. So 20E3 plus 1 divided by 80E3, okay, inverse that. 
that gives me 16K. So all of that reduced to 16K. So we got 5 milliamps in parallel with 16K. So we're through here right now, right? Now we got a 3K here and a 1K here. Just to give you, that's where we're at right here. We've reduced the circuit down to there. So now we need source transformation on this. And source transformation tells us that that is the same thing as the voltage source in this direction. That's the direction of the voltage rise of 5 milliamps times um, 16K. So that's going to be the value of the voltage, and it's going to be in series with the 16K. Okay? That's what source transformation tells us. So we have, so kilos and millis will exactly cancel each other out. So 5 times 16 is 80. Now let me just make sure that I haven't made any mistakes, because mistakes are easy to make. All right, so... So now, we can replace all that with 80 volts. So I got minus plus 80 volts. And then in series with my 16K, in series with 3K, and in series with 1K. They're series connected, so it doesn't matter that it's broken up by a voltage source. It's electrically the same. So we can consolidate everything that's series connected into one. So 16 plus 3 plus 1K is 20K. 20K. So then all of this, up to this point, now we're up to here. We've consolidated, we simplified the circuit through here. And then, so here we are. All of that is in uh, parallel connected to 12 milliamp independent, volt, uh, independent current source. So now we're going to use source transformation to transform that into a current in parallel with it, a resistor. So that's going to give me, this is the direction of the voltage rise, is down. So the value of the current is 80 volts over 20K. That is going to be parallel connected to 20K. So 80 volts divided by 20K is going to give me 4 milliamps. So my new simplified circuit looks like this. I got four milliamps in parallel with 20K. That's gonna be in parallel with 12 milliamps. And that's gonna be in parallel with 60K. So here we have currents that are parallel connected, they will add, and resistances that are parallel connected will simplify. So this, in parallel with that, parallel connected current sources add, our net is going to be, in, our net voltage rise is going to be in that direction. So it's going to be 12 minus 4, that gives me 7 milliamps here, or excuse me, 8 milliamps. So I have 8 milliamps, and parallel connected to, so we got 60K, in parallel with 20K, so that's going to be 1 over 60K plus 1 over 20K inverse. So what do we got? So we got 1 divided by 60E3 plus 1 divided by 20E3 inverse that. And that gives me 15K. So here we have 15K. So now we've reduced the circuit all the way through there. So now our, our simplified, so we've reduced it through here, and we've got 8 milliamps in parallel with 15K. And that's going to be parallel connected to 5K plus 10K. Now notice here, you could actually use current division to solve the problem. But the problem actually states to use source transformation. So we're going to make one final source transformation. We're going to source transform that into a voltage source. So that's going to be plus minus. And then we're going to have 15K. And then we're going to have 
5k and then 10k. So this voltage is going to be 8 milliamps times 15k. So 8 times 15 is going to be 120. So our final source looks like this. Our final circuit looks like that. So 120 volts. And then now I naught, which is that, is V. Now we have we're down to one, basically one equivalent resistance and one voltage. So we can't simplify any further. So I is going to be I naught is going to be 120 volts over 15, 20, 30, 30k. That is that gives me 40 milliamps. So then this is going to be four milliamps, not 40, four milliamps. So now that we know what it is, we're going to start working backwards. So we know that this current here is 4 milliamps. So then the voltage V of 5K plus 10K, so that voltage is going to be 5, um, 15K times 4 milliamps, which gives me 60 volts. So right here, so that voltage is going to be 60 volts. So that means this node here has value 60 volts. So if that's 60 volts, then this current here, I, so we're going to call that I60K. I60K is going to be 60 volts over 60K, and that gives me 1 milliamp. So I have 1 milliamp here, right? So if this is 60 volts, and I know that this is 60 volts. This is also 60 volts. And I can use KCL. I know I got 12 here. So let's do KCL at 60 volts at 12 milliamps. Because we want to find out what is this I sub 4K. Consolidate 3 and 2, 1 over there. So what is the I sub 4K? So, so KCL at 12 milliamps will give me minus 12 milliamps plus I sub 4K plus, I got a current going there, 1 milliamp plus 4 milliamp is equal to 0. So that means I sub 4K, doing some simple math, is going to be 7 milliamps. So we got minus 12 plus 5 is 7. So that's 7 milliamps right there. So that means the voltage V of 4K, right, this voltage of these two resistors, since they're series connected, is going to be 7 milliamps times 4K. And that's going to be... 28 volts. So this voltage drop here, this is V sub 80K. So we're going to call that V 80K So V 80K 80K. So V 80K is going to be this voltage drop and this voltage here is the 60 volts and then it drops 28 minus 28. So it drops 28 volt across those two resistors, and that should give me 32, 32 volts. So V80K is, over here I have 32 volts. My goal all along was to find I100 volts, because I'm, I'm going to find, um, because I want to find the power. That was my goal at the very beginning. So now we're going to use KCL at 32 volts to find well, actually, we don't need KCL because um, I, so we have I of 100 volts, which is going to do V over R. So that gives me 32 volts minus a negative, right? So that's going to be double negative. So that's going to be a plus 100 volts. That's over 20K. So that is going to be 132 divided by... Um, 20K, 20E minus 
I mean E3. That gives me 6.6 .6 milliamps. So I have 6.6 .6 milliamps going through there. So the power dissipated by the 100 volts is going to be the 100 volts. And what sign is that 100? The current is entering the negative terminal. So it's a negative 100 volts. And the, vo the current is 6.6 .6 milliamps. So the power dissipated is going to be negative 660 milliwatts. So that means it's generating that much power in the circuit. Okay, you guys, that is the answer to this problem. Be sure to like the Facebook page and share with your friends. And if you see a question posted that you can help, please do. Thanks.